All right. Hi, everybody. We are here, Jeremy, Ryan, and myself, Amina M. on YouTube, Amina Motala. We're here to announce we are launching an NFT charitable um, project for the truckers in Ottawa, Canada. We are here to uh, um, offer a NFT. And Jeremy is a, an artist, the artist for this collection. And we've partnered up on this um, event and we really want to get it promoted and get all of your support around this. So Jeremy is here talking to me from Denver, Colorado at the ETH Denver conference down there. How is it going down there? Uh, it's going pretty well. It's uh, very, very crowded, but uh, there's a lot of people to talk to and uh, it's definitely a decent event. Nice. That's great to hear. And um, so, yeah, our, our project we did, we decided to do, I, I thought of this great idea about a trucker's NFT. And I said, hey, Jeremy, let's do this. And he's so supportive. I love it because he's in the States. I'm a Canadian. And uh, the support is just wonderful. So we really are in sync on this. And we've got some great people helping behind the scenes as well. So we want to get this out there. Um, Jeremy, what... Uh, can we can we answer? I know there's some questions people have been asking. Let's just go through a couple things and hopefully we can provide some answers to those questions. So uh, why don't you just uh, mention a few things? So and uh, about the NFT. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a it's a collection of trucks, and in each truck, it's got different styles of trucks, uh, different colors. Um, each NFT will have the Canadian flag on the bottom corner of it. Uh, and each truck will have uh, a driver and a dog, um, because I think that even though um, a lot of truckers may not be able to have a dog or uh, may not have dogs, I think every uh, every, every trucker deserves a dog. And so um, I decided to just throw dogs in there too. And the people are very multicultural to represent uh, Canada and to counter this narrative that uh, that uh, this whole movement is a racist movement um and uh and that they don't support uh people of all different races um uh, and so and there's not people of all different races out there and so that was important to me to highlight too is you know that canada does have people of all stripes it sure does as a canadian we are very multicultural also it resonates with me very much so because this is not so much about necessarily a trucker's association you know there are people in the association that are organizing a lot of this it's more about the people and it is about standing up to tyranny and people the powers in the people and the really this is about the people we the people and um that is a great representation of the people you know having the multicultural so and i got really upset when i read about uh bank accounts being frozen because uh that's actually something that the u.s government had done to me uh, right. was at one point froze my bank accounts uh, due to political activism, peaceful peaceful activism. Um, I have never once been accused of or done anything violent or destructive, um, but I have been very aggressive with my activism. Uh, there's a difference between aggressive and violent. Uh, and so uh, uh, the U.S. government at one point froze my bank account, so that resonates with me even more. Um, you know, it makes me even more want to try to help uh, some of these people, um, you know, or get some way of funding to help people because uh, that's a very tyrannical move in Absolutely. any government. Absolutely. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should not be seizing people's public, uh, people's pr uh, private property. Private and funds. you should not be seizing their bank accounts either. You know, you should not be seizing their money. That's right. Um, that, that borders that into very, very, very hostile territory. Absolutely. And that's what they did with the GoFundMe in Toronto. You know, they froze it and they've been freezing some of the actual truckers' bank accounts as well. Trudeau has, you know, invoked an emergency act. So the NFT, the whole idea, I mean, was about, you know, having that that uh, control and management of the money too. And, and it's transparent at the same time. You know, there's so many great things about this where nothing will be hidden. Everything should be out in the open. 
and we just want to get a bit of money to the truckers. It doesn't mean we're going to raise $10 million. It just means let's show the world, you know, how this can be done and you can do it too. It's not, it's not just Jeremy and I that are doing this. You know, anyone can, can take upon themselves to do things um, in the same manner and learn how this works. So power to the people. Yeah, power to the people. And yeah, anyone can learn how to make NFTs and, you know, this model can be replicated over and over and over again, uh, which is a good, which is a good thing. And you get something back from your donation. You know, you get something in your wallet back versus just a straight donation. Right. Um, and then you go. So it's a, it's a nice, uh, a nice way, um, to go about things. And yeah, I mean, everything, a, a, everything would be transparent, you know, where all the money is going and everything else, uh, without any names being mentioned, um, because of obvious reasons <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think everyone can understand that if you start mentioning names then those people start getting their bank accounts frozen and then it doesn't matter what you raise anyways exactly uh, but uh but i will say that amina and i have gone through a very extensive vetting process and um and 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 everything will be in good hands yes most definitely and so we will um, be announcing all those details that we're going to have for you. But uh, for now, enjoy the little sample we're going to show you. And I'm going to put it up with this video and um, start looking at your social media because it's, you're going to start to see it. And please uh, share, like this video, get it around uh, Amina Am on YouTube. And, um, and when you do see the NFT being promoted, please share and you know, we, we can, we can follow up too with, uh, sharing how to do this. So thank you. Thanks, Jeremy from Denver, Colorado. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Take care.